Hello, Lisa Christensen here with watercolor and I wanted to paint some beautiful violets that I have been growing in my garden and they kind of have like this star-like shape to it so you'll see that the first um, part of the star is purple and then I go into like a cerulean blue and then I add that yellow for the beautiful violets and now I'm adding uh, some leaves to it but um, I'm still learning what green I really want to work with this is a very abstract painting and it's going to actually turn into some cards but this is my mindfulness for the week and I'm just playing around with my shapes and my colors and some of the violets are a bit more bluer than others and some are a bit more purple and I'm also changing up my size of my violets as well they're so pretty this time of year like they're little and cute and I just love these violets and this is quite a process but it's fun I keep turning my paper um, different ways and I just have a lot of fun deciding where I want my next violet as you can see I'm, I'm trying to figure out okay what's my favorite you know where do I want this violet where do I want my pinks or my purples and my blues and then my my pretty yellow I'll also be uh, going back in and kind of taking care of some of the <laughs> purple that is maybe too wet and I'm just playing around I'm using a Versatil Escoto Versatil Rigor Brush. I believe it's a size 20. And I'm using the Melang uh, watercolor. It's a beautiful set, very vibrant Japanese watercolor. So there's a little bit of opaqueness to it, which makes the painting even funner because you can go back in and change the the opacity or the saturation of the color which is nice because this is a mindfulness activity while I am painting this I am thinking about spring and the gratitude I have for all the different flowers that are in bloom right now it is so much fun this is just a fun way for my mind to kind of escape and yet play with color and shape and and just really just kind of let me do my own thing and you'll see that I I just kind of play I'm using a filbert brush now I did like my Escoto versatile brush but the filbert brush actually kind of gives me more control and I was feeling like I needed more control so I am always <laughs> using the tool that will help me the most and as you can tell my flowers are very loose and fluid and I just have a lot of fun and I'm really staying in with like the hooker's green the dioxazide purple and the cerulean blue or like a cornflower blue if you're using a Japanese paint that's usually the name uh, and you see I'm going like completely off the page I'm feeling in space I'm really taking my time and I'm just enjoying the process sometimes we don't give ourselves enough like credit where credit is due and um, it's just a fun little loose fluid painting take breaths enjoy the process now I'm going to um, continue doing what I'm doing uh, when I stop and add pigment somewhere it's because it caught my eye and I and I could but painting for fun and just for so you'll see me just painting stars in two star points with yellow two star points with blue and two star points with purple and you get this really pretty violet jump up thing I'm gonna let the music play and you can just watch me but that's the process and I'll keep changing my paper around turning my paper around and adding my values as I go
finish up this beautiful painting, I'm adding in some little buds in the white space. I'm using blue and the dioxazine purple just to add some texture and some elements to the paper. I now have some spray that I've used with, I put some gold paint and then in a spray bottle and just sprayed it and that just gives it a nice little sheer look to it as you can see. And I was done. Now I thought uh, these should be a card so I'm cutting them down to a two size cards which is four and a quarter by five and a half or five and a quarter if I wanted a border which I did. <laughs> And I didn't really waste very much paper. <laughs> now I'm stamping some sentiments for my cards because I thought Mother's Day is coming up and I'm going to need some Mother's Day cards and it's such a fun spring background painting that I thought getting some sentiments on the card will be great. I'm using uh, You Color My World stamp set from Tailored Expressions along with um, the jalapeno ink was what I used for the sentiments. I cut out some of the frames for the cards and I used some uh, like a dog ear dye for the Happy Mother's Day. Now it's just a matter of gluing them onto the card panel. I'm using Craft Bond glue. I find that that works really well and it's perfect for what I need to use it for. <laughs> I'll pop up the Mother's Day sentiment with some strips and the strips are very handy to use. I use them all the time. And then I will use scissors to cut off that extra tab on the panel. Right there. That works. And I do take some time to play around with where I want my sentiment. Usually I like them in the bottom, or towards the bottom, to anchor the card. And this I'm just adding like foam adhesive to pop up the sentiment. And I'm gonna put that right in. And now I have my card panels pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna glue that one down. <laughs> and the frames just add interest to the to the card, but isn't that pretty? I think that'll look like a nice card for somebody. Now, I thought about doing the You're the Best, but instead I chose to get the You Colored My World sentiment set cut out. Wishing you a colorful day. I thought that would look cute. It works. And I just found some green ink that I thought would work really well with the green that's on the on the painting. you I thought about purple, but the green really kind of unifies everything. And again, I'm going to put my little <laughs> glue on and my strip so it's easy to pop up. Sometimes the strips are too thick for the sentiment, so I just have to play around with it. And get the strip back off. Seems easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> And there you have it, the Love You With All My Art. 
and there you have it there's my cards they are done i used a mindfulness meditation for the background and then i used simple dyes to make my cards just a little bit happier along with some sentiments and i'm very happy with how those cards went